Hello and welcome. We officially have a name. Around the Ark, no H. We figured that out too. I'm Joey Zako. Uh, Ellis, Ryan, Ben, we're still uh, waiting on Matt. Maybe he'll run in late if, uh, so. if he gets here. But Matt will be here soon as well. Week three. We were a little jipped last week. Yeah. Uh, but we got week three. Around the Ark, presented by Napa Auto Parts of Stratford. Uh, let's begin. Also, remember you can comment in live, as it says in the title up there, and we'll read your questions. We're trying to focus on the games tonight. We'll be back here tomorrow, 8 o'clock, doing this all over again, so we'll talk about those four games then. But uh, for tonight, where do you guys want to start? Hopefully people comment in. I'll be, I'll be reading the comments live, but uh, anything from these games that kind of jumps out at you first? Uh, I guess we can start with White Magic and Redemption. I mean, uh, White Magic has yet to win a game. Uh, Struggling to shoot, just like uh, Renegades. So um, struggling is generous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, struggling. So I mean, I think it's this is a kind of a one-sided game right now. It's gonna have to be a real. Uh, they're gonna have to pull off an upset. What do you guys think? Uh, I think that game is I, honestly. I, I, I can't imagine that my Magic's gonna win, but I do think that it's gonna be a big difference in style of play, so that's something to at least watch for. Mm -hmm. White Magic likes to chuck and duck from behind the arc, and they like to shoot a lot of threes. Uh, whether or not they make a lot of those threes is, you gotta turn, tune in and watch, because they can either get hot, or they can miss 20 in a row. But uh, Redemption likes to get to the rim, play above the rim. They had a bunch of alley-oops last week. Uh, I believe they had a guy almost uh, land on his head, actually. I think Joey mentioned that. And uh, they, they play above the rim. So I I think that even if the game's not that close, it's something to look for as an interesting difference in both of those teams. On the other side of that matchup, Redemption has John Rula. He, he had 27 points last week, and he's been an offensive force. Wrong team. It's all good. Wrong team? That's no limit. Who might be here in the post game? I thought they were on Rude Oh, no, no, it's all right. My notes hey, are wrong. They're, they're very easily oh, too, my uh, too might be confused. Redemption hung with the preseason favorites in week one. Yeah. Rowan did have 27. Uh, we'll, they'll play tomorrow. Oh, we'll see okay. if no limit can hang on. I'm going to cut you off, though, before you uh, you know ruin the show anymore. Um, <laughs> Oh, well, we were talking about crappy shooting. Yeah. Light it up in the Renegades. Ooh, yes. uh, that's one of the other matchups. I'll go through these real quick. White Magic Redemption, yeah. Light it up Renegades at 9, Serial Killers Avengers, and then the Furman Rookies also at 10. Light it up Renegades combined 18% through three combined Ooh. games. Renegades played one, White Magic played two, 14 for 78, and uh, spoiler, Renegades have zero. Yeah. So those are all made by White Magic. And uh, yeah, light it up at nine last week. So you can imagine that that one game brought it up to eighteen percent. It was even worse. <laughs> right. Uh, Terrell Vargas, uh, Ben's ruining the show. So there we that go. We got some. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> got some good stuff. I might excuse myself from Seth. <laughs> we'll just edit him out. <laughs> which uh, which team lighted up Renegades needs to? I mean, obviously both looking for a win, yeah. right? Which team shooting? needs to shoot better to have the better chance, right? Which team relies on the shooting more, do you think? I, I'd say light it up. They they shot 27 threes last week. They shot over 20 the week before. The Renegades, they look to get to the rim and play in transition a little bit more, at least from the first week. So I feel like light it up relies more on it. So if they're going to if they're gonna win, they're going to have to shoot well, as opposed to the Renegades who have a little bit more size, a little bit more inside presence. So I feel as if you're going to bounce off outside shooting, light it up relies a little more on it, so they're going to have to shoot better. I think Light It Up needs to, instead of shooting the ball more, I think they need to attack the basket more. Because obviously they're not a good, you know, all-around shooting team. So maybe if they start attacking the basket, uh, building that kind of presence, then they'll get the it out for those threes, too. Right, right, too. So. Uh, we have a good chunk of no limit watching. Ronte and Terrell wanted to be on. This is your chance. Give us something to talk about, guys, without making fun of... Uh, Don't you know. roast me. <laughs> Stop roasting me. Without making man. fun of anybody. Uh, speaking of redemption, Jalen Graham had a very good game against No Limit. Take another 30 points, right? Taking 30 points last week. So far. He's been a breakout guy, kind of. What does he have to do to keep it going? Can he keep it going? I, th I think he can. I think he's going to be a great um, contributor for the team going forward. He's going to dish the ball off, make a lot of plays for people around him. That's going to be the key for their success. He can't just be good himself. He's got to make everyone around him better as well. Yeah, last week he might not have played the best competition, but the week before, he dropped 24 on a... 
no limit. Sorry yep. about that. And, they're, they're, uh, they're very forgettable. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, it's taking the lead by storm. I, I, I mean, what can I say? We saw him in the exhibition game. He played well there. So I, I guess I saw it, some of this coming a little bit. But thirty and ten last week. That's a monster performance. And I think he can keep it going. But he's just got to stay aggressive. You got to keep going to the basket, and that gets him shots and shots for others too. <laughs> Talking about Jalen Brown. Yeah. Yeah, him and Carmine, I mean, they're they're leading the MVP race right now. I mean, it's it's exciting to watch, and I'm looking forward to, you know, what they have for the rest of the season. So, <clears throat> Redemption's going to be definitely a fun team to watch. Uh, we have a question from Ronte. Will Bird win a championship this year? We'll save that for tomorrow. Uh, he's talking about No Limit, who they're all watching. They have a big game this week. Mm-hmm. A lot of expectations against Stranger Danger. Tyler behind the camera. Um, Stranger Danger. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's save that for the Quietly 2-0. I'll give them that. <laughs> Quietly. Quietly. Uh, Quietly. Davin Serpensky, shout out, Bum TMC. Uh, speaking of staying aggressive and attacking, right, what do you think is the better strategy? And we have kind of these two styles yeah. facing off, serial killers and the Avengers. Uh-huh. Is shooting it well, I mean, I, I guess it depends on the team, right? Yeah. But what do you guys think? Shooting it well or attacking? Obviously, you want to do both yeah. is ideal, right? But which is kind of more important to think I think. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I think the Avengers really, if they want to have a chance to win this game, they need to shoot the ball well. They get a lot of outside scoring from Kyle Shapiro, and he's going to have to shoot it lights out from downtown today. You know. Yeah. I'd say for the better strategy, I I'd say the better strategy is probably getting to the basket because if you get to the basket, it opens everything else up on offense. Whether right. they're playing zone with you or man, you get to the basket, you draw people in, you can get a layup every now and again, and you can kick it out for those threes that everyone wants. So. Getting in the basket opens everything else up. And the better teams in this league that I've, we've seen so far, like No Limit, Monstars, uh, Temptations, they get to the basket, they dish it out. And I, I feel like if you can get inside and get some early buckets in the paint, make them respect your inside presence, then it opens everything else up for you. So if you're going to go off of an offensive strategy, I feel like that's a better way to go. Not only is attacking the basket important, but um, attacking the rims too. Rebounding is so yeah. important. In offensive this rebounding, absolutely. Offensive time. rebounding, defensive rebounding. I do right. think serial killers have the advantage on the inside tonight. Also, yeah, they have yeah. a height advantage. Yeah. Yeah. They have an athleticism <laughs> advantage. I, I'd, I'd they say they have an advantage all around. It sounds like yeah, they have a huge advantage all over. Uh, so guys, if you want to uh, comment in, let's focus on tonight's games. No, no limit. Everything can't be about you. So we're going to save you guys for tomorrow. We'll talk plenty about you. Uh, might even have Tyler on tomorrow to kind of stir the pot a little bit before your big matchup. Uh, let's say to tonight's games, we'll jump in to light it up, right? So we're taking on a, another winless team in the Renegades. Uh, we talked about the poor shooting, but Chris Rosario has been a bright spot. Mm-hmm. Debuted last week. About 50%. 50%, 23 points, and they still were unable to pull out the win. What does he have to do besides score more, right, to, for that team to, to get their first win? I feel like he's got to move the ball around more. He, he shot the ball very well. I'll give him that. They, he was the spark they needed. He wasn't there the first week, and they played much better with him. But there was a lot of times on offense where there was a lot of Carmelo Anthony-type basketball where you just stare at the guy's feet and then shoot. And yeah, it went in sometimes, and sometimes it didn't. And you get the ball moving on offense, you're going to have a much better chance of scoring. So I feel like he and the rest of the team, they got to – play off of each other better and move move the basketball around. Yeah, uh, Chris Rosario was in the summer season, had a lot of success there. We'll look for him to shoot better. I think that's a, obviously, he can shoot better, that helps. Uh, but he will... The whole light it up to you. He needs to shoot better. better. Yeah, Jake Miko uh, has been known for his three-point mm-hmm. shooting. Hasn't been there. So far. Yeah, uh, so we'll see from them if they can rebound. Speaking of rebounds... That's called the transition. Guys. Uh, the, firm, <laughs> the firm versus the rookies. The firm snuck out that win. Their point differential must not probably isn't that good. They won by two points the first week. Were unable. They slowed down, but not completely. They played a tough game. They, they did. Tough game. They did. And the rookies 0-2. Uh, the rookies in the firm will be interesting. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you think I, from that game? <laughs> I think that game has two players that play both ends very well. Chris Martinez for the firm. He's averaging 14 and 8. He plays the game hard. He plays it pretty complete. And uh, Charles Richardson for the rookies. He's averaging 19 and 11. I, both of them play up and down the court well. They play defense. They play offense. They crash the glass. I, I feel like that game is going to show up both of these guys and do what they do best, which is playing both ends. I, 
I feel like this game's going to be close. I, th I feel like the firm might pull it out at the end because they played, won the first close game, they pulled it out, and in the next game they played a tough, gritty game. I feel like they'll pull it out in the end, but it's, it might start off pretty close. I also see the firm winning this game, but I just want to go on record saying that I think both, both teams have a, are going to come out this week with looking to prove a lot. They have a lot to prove. Yeah. Like you said, the rookies are 0-2, the firm, they feel like they're a better team than they displayed last week. So, you know, I, I, I think it's going to be a passion for them. And an emotional play. loss last week looking to rebound. Yeah. And the other team's winless, so they're going to look to show what they, yeah. uh, show right. the league what they can do. Before uh, we'll take any more questions, we'll be on about another minute or two. Uh, Ronte has suggested we call the Monday night games the D-League games, <laughs> and that's not very nice. Uh, <laughs> they're still part of the regular league, uh, despite what everyone thinks. So, kind of ending on this, unless... <laughs> yes, Ronte, it's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> which player that hasn't broken out yet tonight from these eight teams do you think breaks out tonight and maybe even helps his team get that win? I'd go with Scott Corshaw. Yes. Yeah. He's a facilitator for that team. He, he's got he had 14 points and five assists last week, and that's because he could have had more points, could have had more assists. But Jalen Graham just took over the game. I, I feel like he has a ball in his hand so often that he's he's liable to break out at any point for a 20 10, 10 game. Yep. So if I had to put money on someone, I put my money on. Him. For sure. Uh, I'm gonna go with Howie Miller. Last week he had on the wrong team. On the wrong team. He's not on. Oh yeah. So everyone on No Limit is now on Redemption. So <laughs> now everyone, you guys have a game tonight. Uh, Redemption plays at nine. So No Limit. We'll see you here in about an hour. I'll see you <laughs> tomorrow night to mess up some more games. <laughs> you have anybody from anybody else over there? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll switch that up. I'll go with Justin Silva. Okay. He's had a slow start to the season. Yeah. Right. Slow start to the season. Him him and his team collectively need to shoot the ball better. I'm sure I'm being roasted on online right now oh, that's yeah. totally justified <laughs> um, <laughs> be prepared <laughs> kids when you come to work be prepared Eric Sidewater <laughs> Sidewater's watching yes he is and, and I we're can't gonna curse get to your, we're gonna get to your breakout in a minute Side wants oh, to know boy. oh we're gonna save sides for tomorrow uh, oh, Ronte boy. goes Eric we miss you they really they really miss Eric so we don't miss you <laughs> don't come back um, sorry your breakout and then we're gonna get out of here I mean I got one or two choices I got um from a Jamal team playing Jones. tonight. There yes. you go. Okay. Okay. Jamal Jones. I, got, sure. I mean, he had, he had a great game, first game last week. Yeah. I had 17 points. So if he can increase that, if he can get 20 plus, I think he could help his team maybe get the upset over the firm. Okay. Um, he's had a great uh, year so far. And then also Elliot Walker. I don't, I don't think he's going to be the top player with Jam Jamal Jones, but yeah. um, those two could have a breakout game to pull off the upset. Elliot might not be coming tonight inside information, so we'll see if he actually does Breaking come. News. So there you go. Uh -oh. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. At least you have the right team. Yeah. Uh, you have two choices. <laughs> Someone's so, got to do something wow. right around here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, no, nobody crapped their pants yet. Don't worry. Uh, so we'll be back here tomorrow night with the actual – we'll actually make them prepare this time. Uh, the to week three. <laughs> week three around our – presented by Napa Auto Parts of Stratford. Highlights on Snapchat, at Legacy underscore Leagues. Legacy underscore leagues two interviews on Facebook. The post game will be edited, so you won't have this problem again. That'll be up tomorrow morning. Uh, for Ben, Ryan, and Ellis, I'm Joey. We'll see you at nine. The game start, and we'll see you on the post game. I might not be here tomorrow. <laughs>